Hi everyone. Um, welcome back from spring break. Um, I hope you did get a moment to be off screen. I did for a couple days and it was really healing to be away from the screen for a couple days. Um, so apologies in advance for the short notice. We are going to work asynchronously tonight. I had something come up family-wise that I need to take care of and and the thing that we were going to do together, I have full confidence in your ability to do on your own. So uh, thank you. And again, sorry for the short notice. Um, I do want to say up front, I'm excited for you. For so many of you, this is the home stretch of your bachelor's degree. You have like eight weeks or something, and then you're graduated. Like you can do this. You can really do this. We can finish strong together. I know the Last part can be so hard and you're so busy, but we'll, we're we going to do this and support each other. So for today, um, you should already know, because this we've known this before, that your writing assignment to the teacher is due tonight. So you are going to respond to that assignment as the student and write your draft. Uh, last that I checked, I shouldn't say draft, it should be like your best effort. Um, so not drafty. Last I checked, I think Brianna, I think Brianna <laughs> had um, responded to Savannah's assignment. I think it's the only one that's there so far. And it looks really good. Like she did this Harry Potter essay thing that looks amazing. So good job. Uh, so I want to remind you that you're going to share the link to say a Google Doc or copy and paste your response, your writing assignment, underneath their original assignment post and currents so as a comment to their assignment so that we'll end up with you know like Miguel's assignment and Orion's response as a comment to that assignment like I said a link or whatever make sure that you set your share settings in your Google Docs to anyone with the link can comment not just view so that the teacher can give feedback to your writing so that's one thing that was already due tonight then what we were going to do in class together was read and comment in perusal. And this is what we're going to do asynchronously now um, to Nancy Summers' uh, essay called Responding to Student Writing. It's a canonical text. It's one that lots of us read. It was written in the 80s, and it's still good. It's, uh, and some of you would have encountered it probably in English 431. I don't know how many times I've read it in my career. 50? I don't know. A lot. Um, and I'm hoping that it will give you some insights into thinking about how to respond to your students writing um, the writing of this student this week so uh, by Wednesday you're gonna give feedback to the student and I want you to think carefully about your intention with that is the feedback in the service of revision I hope you do have revision built into your assignment sequence so is this feedback that helps them revise they're not going to actually revise, but what if they were going to? Um, are you creating a rubric and scoring it? Um, did that assignment have particular writing things that you wanted a student to learn? So, for example, was your writing assignment to support how to incorporate quotes or how to do a close analysis of a character or something like that? So does your feedback uh, meet those goals? Is that the intention of the feedback is to give them support for how to learn those tasks. So I want you to think about, and then use the Nancy Summers responding to student writing to kind of inform how you give feedback. So before we get to class on Wednesday, you should have given feedback to the writer. And then in class, we'll do some reflective work around those assignments and uh, how it turned out. So in a nutshell, today you should write the paper for the teacher and, and put the link in our Currents community as a comment under that assignment. You can do a control F to easily find your partner, by the way. Control F, type in Orion, you can find it. Um, and then by Wednesday, or by tonight, also read Nancy Summers, responding to student writing and comment in perusal. And then by Wednesday, I'll give feedback to the writer. And then we'll spend some more time thinking about these writing assignments and tasks and getting those ready and the rationales ready clear into next week. So... The other thing I'm working on um, is I'm trying to make a checklist for you for the unit plan based on some feedback that I got on the survey before we left for spring break. Thank you. 
One of the things that did make me a little nervous is that a couple of you said, I wish we would get started on the unit plan. And that made me nervous because I think that's all we've been doing is working on the unit plan. So I am hoping that you saw the reading rationale that we wrote as part of the unit plan, even though it needs to be revised for most of you, um, that the writing assignment we just made, and that's, you know, the feedback is due tonight from your student, is what's going to go in the unit plan, that those young adult novel lesson plans that you created, you should be able to use in your unit plan or modify based on if you didn't end up using the young adult novel for your unit plan, couldn't you modify that lesson plan for the books or readings that you are doing? So I feel like everything we've been doing is in the service of this unit plan. So I went ahead and made a checklist and I'm trying to find examples of each of the parts. And so I will have that for you on Wednesday as well. Um, hoping that we keep each other organized. Actually, so I keep you organized. I feel organized, but I don't know. That may not be true in your mind. I think that's it. Um, yeah, I look forward to seeing y'all on Wednesday. And thanks for writing your partner's assignments. This will be really fun to see. And yeah, hang in there.